What's going on, everybody? You're now checking in with Lissatris, and uh, I have a few things I would like to discuss with you all. No, I am Lissatris. I'm an inspirational artist. From the small city of Glenville, Georgia. Um, uh, just all about spreading positive vibes through music, encouraging lives, and uh, you know, helping bring a good change to people. That's uh, that's what I strive to do. I was born into a family of uh, singers and uh, musicians, and uh, even at an early age, you know, we would uh, travel different places um, with my with my family. You know, they were always on program singing somewhere. And, um, you know, that kind of, you know, had me where it was like I was always kind of curious about it, you know, and I liked it from the start as well. But uh, as far as the actual singing, you know, I remember when I was uh, young, me, and my sister, and my brother, we were in the uh, back room singing, just playing around it like kids do. And um, my mom, she just so happened to walk by. And um, she heard us singing, so she called us in the front room and was like, you know, I want you all to sing that. She told us a song to sing. And uh, my, I'm a really, really shy child, afraid at the time. So, you know, I did it. I tried singing the first time, and, you know, obviously it wasn't what she wanted to hear. She knew the potential we had in us. So uh, she gave us a second try, you know, and I'm leading the song as well. So uh, once again, I, I'm still not singing the way I should. So she went and got a belt, you know, by us seeing that belt. We already knew what time it was. So, uh, you know, by that third time I'm standing there, you know, afraid, nervous, crying. And, um, and it's like, I started singing and it's like a voice just came out of nowhere. And uh, from that day four, I was like, I knew it was, in, I knew it was in me, even though I was afraid and shy, but she knew, she saw something in me that I didn't see and I didn't understand. And um, that's what uh, really drew me to loving music more. I remember back in uh, 2012, I, um, I started recording. I had a, a cousin who knew someone at a, at a studio at their place. And um, you know, I just told him about it, like, look, man, you know, I can, I can sing a little bit. So, you know, he invited me over and um, I started doing a little bit of recording. And a uh, short time after that, I started uh, writing. And um, ever since then, you know, uh, I've been at it. Um, I, I remember like uh, my first time going to the studio and actually getting in a booth and recording and it's like just hearing, the, you know, actually hearing myself and then the feedback that I got. And uh, from that moment on, I knew like, yeah, this is, this is pretty dope. I think I'm, I'm going to stick to doing this right here every chance I get. And uh, that's how that came about. Uh, the name I decided to go with, or the title I decided to go with for my new album is Faith. Because uh, it took a lot to get where I'm at, and I had to keep the faith and keep trusting the process, keep going forward. Faith. I decided to uh, call it Faith because um, I remember back uh, when I first started working on this project, um, I believe it was around like 2015-ish, somewhere around that time. Um, when I first started, you know, I had a song of mine, I recorded it, and it's like, after that, it's like, trials and tribulations start coming in life. I would uh, write a song, go record it, and it's like, you know, it didn't quite turn out the way I, decide, I, th I thought it would. And uh, I had to take some time to kind of just fall back and just find myself, you know, pray and ask God to kind of lead me and guide me to, uh, and just give me, you know, something to say to the people. Because, I mean, um, I knew, once again, the passion for music is, is, is always been strong. And I, and I feel like I was called to do what I do. Um, this is my purpose here on life, in, in life. And, um, and through it all, you know, I, that's why. I, Faith, faith was just always this thing that just kind of rung in my mind, and um, I uh, went on with that, and here I am today, 
pushing forward. And even at the time, I quite, didn't quite see it, see it happening the way it did and everything playing out the way it did. But by the grace of God, everything worked out. And here I am with the album complete, Faith. Faith is what it is. I feel like all of the songs are great because um, I wrote them. <laughs> Uh, and that's what I strive for. That's that was the goal to try to every song I wanted to, you know, to be a great one. Um, but uh, I would say the most, the song that sticks closest to me the most would be Survivor. Um, I wrote that song after I came seconds, literally seconds away from death uh, in a bad car accident, and um, that inspired me to uh, write the song and it's pretty much telling my testimony about the situation and uh, I feel like around uh, once again or around that time when this situation happened it was 2016 when, when that situation there happened I was still in the middle of uh, you know finishing up my album or whatever and uh, when that right there came about it just it brought more inspiration to me and uh, and uh, I always just think back, like, you know, by me walking away from that car accident with only scratches and bruises, that was proof that there is a God. And that was proof that uh, I have a plan and a purpose for my life and it must be fulfilled. To me, uh, faith means a lot. Uh, at some point in time, well, I was, let me correct that, all the time, all the time, even when we don't think we're exercising faith um, or using faith, at some point you, we we have to use it. Um, it's it's key, it's key role in life. Um, you know, it's that it's that thing where, although we might not see something, but in our mind and in our heart, we know that if we trust God and trust the process, you know, we can we can reach that goal. We can get to what we need to be. Um, I like the scripture where it says, uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. And um, that uh, I hold that um, close to me. And um, that's what helps get me through a lot of situations in life. I mean, good and bad, you know, I always stay positive and stay uplifted and uh, keep the faith. I mean, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's key. It's key in life. And it's, it's really important that we hold on to it, we keep it. And if we don't have any, we need to get some. Uh, life in general, um, life inspires me. Um, you know, I, uh, a lot of times I take when I when I write my music, I take my life and I just uh, I put it in my music. I take different situations, and uh, that's what helps me put a song together. Um, also, I mean. Having someone to having someone come up to you and approach and just let you know, like, look, you know, that song you wrote, it really, it really encouraged me. I was down and out of that song you wrote that I, I that song I heard it. Um, I was a uh, on the verge of suicide. You know, that really inspired me. That helped me and that helped you know push me to keep moving forward. Don't let my the situation get me down. I mean, and um. That, that's the type of stuff that really inspires me to keep moving forward and to keep making music because you never know what someone is going through. And um, and also, it, is, it inspires me as well. Sometimes I have to go back and listen to my songs and uh, help push me, help get me through the day or through whatever situation I'm going through. So uh, that's what inspires me. I listen to all types of music. Uh, I feel like as an artist, and a uh, love for music and a passion for it, you can't really uh, limit yourself to, uh, you know, what you like, what, you know, what is there to listen to. It's all types of genres out there and there's different types of styles. And I uh, feel like, you know, just, just branching off and just, you know, taking a listen. You know, you never know what you might come across. Um, I, uh, preferably, I like to listen to something, you know, positive, something uplifting, inspirational, encouraging. And um, that's how that go right there. My advice would be, if you're gonna, you know, decide to make music, write music, record music, or whatever you do. Um, be your authentic self. Um, I see a lot of times where, you know, different folks, uh, different people try to follow the next big thing or whatever. But the thing is, you can be that next big thing. 
you just uh, have to find yourself, you know, um, be humble, uh, and uh, stay stay uh, stay encouraged about the situation. Because I I will admit it does get a little frustrating at time. I myself, um, you know, at one point in time didn't think that this album was gonna uh, be completed. You know, from just going through different things in the process, and uh, you know, sometimes things didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Um, but you know, you're gonna, that's all part of it. You know, if you're, if you're an artist, you, you're gonna go through ups and downs, stressful days, sleepless nights. Um, you know, but you have to just, you know, keep going at it, keep staying, you know, staying positive, keep moving forward, and uh, keep growing, keep growing. And uh, that's it. You can expect the album to be dropping for the end of 2019. Um, and uh, if you can, for those who can and will, you wherever you purchase your music from, um, on all digital outlets, I encourage you to get this album. I promise you, it's uh, it'll be worth it. Um, it'll encourage you and inspire you to help you know get you along the way. Um, and I uh, I believe uh, this is some good work. Um, I took my time on it. Um, I've been working on it a couple years, um, and um, I, you know, been recording at a good location. Shout out to C.J. Wortley uh, for being patient, uh, taking, allow me to take my time and uh, bring my ideas to life. Um, and uh, go get it, go get it. Faith, the album. <laughs>